Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are really, really well. I want to do something a little bit fun. No drama, no stress, no controversy, nothing that anyone is going to get upset about or cause anyone any anxiety. I thought about reading hate comments, but you know, I think actually some people find it stressful just to hear those comments. So instead, I thought we would read my junk mail. That's right, my spam my junk mail, my emails that get filtered lovely by Hotmail for me. I always check my junk mail because lots of um, brand emails go in there and lots of like discount makeup brand emails go in there like you know 10% off today and stuff like that goes into my junk so I always check it because I don't want to be missing out on that stuff. Once an email from ASOS telling me about sale went in my junk, I almost sued Hotmail that day. I almost missed it but anyway I always check it and some of the emails that go into your junk box are hilarious just very entertaining if I don't know if you guys have noticed I don't know if it's a common thing all over the world but I feel like junk email has just got really really intense and dramatic and really like high level as far as the different ways they're trying to scam you and it's just it does make for a very entertaining read so Today I thought I'd share with you a few of my favourites in the last few weeks, so here we go. So apparently this email is from Royal Mail. Doubtful. But anyway, let's see, let's see. Let's not judge just yet, maybe it is from Royal Mail. Every Wednesday we choose 25 lucky customers. Now here's the first issue I've got, lucky customers. I don't know if you can really be a customer of Royal Mail because you know the whole of Great Britain has to use them it's not like you buy stuff from them they deliver all your mail like I don't know I don't know if that's the wording they would use but anyway we want you to participate in a brief survey and receive a reward this quick 30 second survey allows us to better understand the users the users and improve our products and services. You can win an Apple iPhone, a Galaxy, or a Galaxy tablet just by telling us about your experiences. Here's where it gets a little bit suspicious. You have three minutes and 10 seconds to complete the survey before we give another visitor this opportunity. Three minutes and 30 seconds. I mean, who, who has checked their email within that time and then gone and filled in the survey? That makes me suspicious and what makes me even more suspicious is that when I click on the email address that says it came from Royal Mail their email address is reply at 977.tovemissing.eu and I don't think that's an official Royal Mail address if I'm honest. Next up an email that comes from Canary Islands. Which one? Which one? Just Canary Islands that's who's emailed me. It says hello missus Hello, Mrs. That's rude. They say about the Canary Islands that, and then it hasn't even finished the sentence, and then there's just a picture of a postcard. I mean, you've got to put some effort in. Then I've got an offer for webcam models. Ooh, a free case of beer. If you, whoa. It says like beer, yes. You've got a free case worth £24. Ooh! Just pay £6.95 to get it delivered. So really, it's cheap beer that you pay £6 for. Here's one from someone who wants to collaborate on Instagram, and I get a lot of these. I'm always suspicious of people who want to collaborate on Instagram because I haven't even got 2,000 followers and I feel a bit like disappointed in you, to be honest. You should be aiming higher. There are people with a lot more followers than me and if you want to collaborate with me at under 2,000 followers, I'm not sure that this is where your business is going. I'm not sure that you are ambitious enough. I think you, I think you should be you know, aiming higher, to be honest. Anyway, they say they want to collaborate. Then they go on to say that actually what they want me to do is to pay them between 30 and and $100 for followers. 
So it's not really a collaboration, is it? It's more that you want me to buy followers and likes, which I do not want to do. I don't really see the point in that. That's not a collaboration. Georgia says, adventurous, no, she doesn't say adventurous. She says, adventurous girl looking for a guy. Well, what do you, do you want me to give you my husband's phone number, Georgia? My email address has my name in it. So that's where you've gone wrong because you, you probably could have told that I was a girl and you're looking for a guy. Also, she says 40 plus and that's rude because I'm not 40 plus. So that's twice, that's, that's two mistakes you've made. She's, obviously she's got no interest in me. <sighs> Rude. Oh, a job offer. Job offer. We have empty positions in our team as a secret customer. We would like to pay you $100 to $400 per assignment. This sounds very, very exciting and not suspicious at all. Here's an interesting one. Sephora, who have banned me and the whole of Great Britain from using their website, have emailed me about their offers. Excuse me? Here's one from Mary Connor. Mrs. Mary Connor, the cheque is ready to be collected. Ooh. Hello, dear. Greetings. How are you? She seems nice. This is Mary Connor, who wrote to you, well, I don't remember that, Mary, some time ago, seeking for your assistance to transfer some funds into your account. Wow, that is so generous. She wants to just send me $450,000 for, com for compensation for all you have done and intentions to assist me. This is my pure appreciation to you. I mean, Mary, there are not enough people like you in this world. Oh, I've got one from a medium. Discover what I saw in my vision. Again, hear where she's gone wrong. She's written, dear first name. Dear first name, between waking and sleeping, I am susceptible to the visions that the higher powers want to share with me. Don't want to share my first name with you, though, do they? Last night I saw that you needed my help. This happened to me. I have rarely had such a powerful vision. I bet you, I bet she tells that to everybody. I bet she's saying that to everyone. You are a very special person. Hmm. I know you have not had it always easy in your life. That's true. That's true, Teresa. You are struggling with certain important matters. You know intuitively that if you did not have these problems, your life would look very different. Well, that's true. Can't argue with that. Well, this email just says, date English speaking Russian. That's quite specific. Oh my God. From the Federal Bureau of Investigation, brackets, FBI. Well, crikey, what's that done in my junk box? This is obviously extremely urgent and important. We sincerely apologise for sending you this sensitive information via email instead of certified mail, post mail, phone or face to face conversation. I mean, we haven't got time to waste here with all this list of com communication methods. It's due to the urgency and importance of the security information of our citizens. <gasps> I am David Bowditch, the Deputy Director of the Federal Bureau of Investigation. They have come straight from the top, guys. We intercepted two consignment boxes at JFK Airport, New York. The boxes were scanned and contained large sums of money. Four million dollars. Also some backup documents that bear your name as the beneficiary. What? An investigation was carried out on the diplomat that accompanied the boxes and he stated that he was to deliver the funds to your residence as an overdue payment owed to you by a foreign country. Now what country would that B. I don't know any foreign countries that would owe me money so much. I did have a really bad holiday to Tunisia a while back. So presumably this is some compensation for that. Wow. Next up, transform cosmetic surgery. It says, interesting, because it says wind down with our new autumn offers. And I've never really thought of plastic surgery as something that would be very relaxing and therapeutic, which is the vibe that they're going for here. So that's interesting. 
Oh my God, someone else who wants to give me two and a half million dollars. I've just got money coming out of my ears. Super Viagra, discount 45%. I can just write that one down. That's obviously shouldn't have been in my junk box. Hello, my dear friend. First of all, thank you for giving your attention to read my email. This lady is only offering me 25%. So I think I'm gonna to have to go back to her and say, actually, most people are just offering me the whole amount. So I'm not sure why, why am I only getting 25% of your money? I'm not sure about that. Then we've got Georgia again. Georgia asking for an adventurous girl looking for a guy. And finally, a Bitcoin's email. Bitcoin phenomenal explained. Is it too late? Or is Bitcoin set to make millions? Oh, and then I've got a genuine email from my daughter's dance company asking for payments. So obviously we'll just pretend we haven't seen that one. It's gone in my junk, so what do you want me to do about it? I hope you guys found this video a little bit of light relief in what can sometimes be a little bit of a too serious environment here on YouTube. But, you know, maybe it's just me who finds those funny. I find them hilarious. I like to read them to my husband. I don't know that he particularly likes to listen, but it keeps me happy, so, you know. <clears throat> happy wife, happy life. I hope to see you guys in a future video. Please take care of yourselves. Until next time, otherwise take care for now. Bye, 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 bye.